What up, what up, what up, what up? Day 111, man. Leaving up out of Palmerton. Decided to stay here today. I found a beautiful camp spot. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all where it's at uh, in, a, in the next video. But uh, Palmerton is a nice little town, small little town. I had a conversation with a lady that grew up here around this area all her life, nice old lady. Cool old lady, talked to me for a little while. It's one of the towns you get good vibes from. You don't get them in every town. But uh, this is one I do get good vibes from. I like the people here. I like the way the town is set up, it's nice. It's big enough, it's more than one store, so that means competition, so that's always good to have a little competition. Cause uh, you know, sometimes you get in these stores and they only have like one convenience store in town or one grocery store in town. Oh man, they gonna jack the price up. Well, this only got one grocery store, but it got a few convenience stores. Uh, so sometimes they just jack the price up too high, man. But we good today. I did buy more food than I usually do. I resupplied for like five days because uh, I talked to my dog Stormy today on the phone. She a little bit ahead of me right now at the moment. She said, uh, do not re resupply in uh, Delaware Water Gap. She said she paid 99 cent for ramen, for a pack of ramen, 99 cent. Nice old cars coming through here as you can see. But 99 cent for a pack of ramen, man, that's just outrageous. So she said, if you can, go ahead and resupply while you're in Palmerton and uh, don't try to get nothing in Delaware Water Gap because it's super expensive. So, with that being said, my next stop, my next plan to stop anyways, building everything goes well. No, a lot of days were for bad weather, even though they're calling for thunderstorms all day tomorrow. So I might be stuck at my camp spot tomorrow because I'm not hiking the rest of these rocks and pouring down rain. I'm just not gonna do that because uh, I see how slick they was after just the morning dew and the rainfall the night before. So I'm definitely not about to hike them in the rain. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of getting hurt. And I don't got nothing to prove to nobody but myself. So uh, I'm not trying to compete or keep up with nobody or nothing like that. So if it's bad, I'm going to stay. I just use my judgment. I use my better judgment <coughs> and go from there. I usually have pretty good judgment when it comes to things. I just don't always listen every time. But uh, tomorrow, I'm definitely going to be in tune. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, my feet feeling pretty good right now. Actually, I've been walking on them, trying to break these shoes in. Maybe I just had to break these shoes in. And maybe that was what was causing the blisters and stuff. Because now they dry, they good. I think it was maybe just being wet and brand new. They just wasn't meshing with my feet at the time. So... We'll see where it go from there. I stopped at uh, Burt's Steakhouse this morning, which is on the AT Guide. Pretty good breakfast. I had me some uh, corned beef and hash, you know, and two eggs over easy. That's how I like my things, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could have told them to fry that hash a little bit hard. I like mine a little bit crunchy and crispy. You dig what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Burt's, though. Let us come in and charge up and everything like that. So, uh, yeah. I just resupplied at the store once again. I went there earlier just to get a few snacks and some tortillas. It lasts me just a couple more days, but I just went back and uh, I got more tuna. I got me another block of cheese. Yes, I'm carrying a block of cheese. It's sweat and it, it, it leak a little bit of oil off of it after a couple days, but it still be good. So for my meals, basically what I have been eating lately is ramen mixed with cheese, block of cheese. I cut off some chunks and throw them off in there and tuna that's a pretty high protein meal as much as i can get it you know stuff like that use the chunk uh, uh chili tuna i mean chili noodles so that's a good thing but uh that's what i've been eating lately other than that and just little debbies and snack cakes and tasty cakes and all that kind of stuff right there i stopped eating breakfast i used to wake up and eat oatmeal but i don't do that anymore man you know, I'll just be trying to get up and get gone. Plus, I'm just tired of oatmeal. Sometimes I might eat it dry. But other than that, I don't really fool with the oatmeal or the breakfast anymore. I just wake up and go have my morning coffee and go. Uh, but other than that, we still moving and grooving. Y'all know how I get down. They go Burke Steakhouse right here. They got a, a hostel in the back. 
that you can stay at for 20 bucks. 20 buck hostel and shower and uh, I think free laundry too. So that's good, that's a pretty good deal. What's up buddy? Staying down your throat. That's what I always tell y'all. If you're gonna stay somebody down somebody's throat, at least speak. I think they, oh they open right now. They close in an hour. Good food. So I suggest you stop at Burt's. Pretty nice people. They have a nice war memorial over this way. If you check my Instagram, I'll probably take a picture of it and throw it up on the ground. Do it for the ground one time, you dig? And go from there. But uh, other than that, man, we just cool. Man. That's a nice horse over there. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all can't see good like me. But check it out. Nice horse. I don't know what it's made out of, but it got nice little like hand-drawn paintings on it. Little artwork on that thing. So that's cool. But uh, once again, man, this is a nice town. Ready to get up out of this town, ready to get up out of Pennsylvania and move on to the next state. But my next plan stop, as I was saying, is in uh, Unionville, North, uh, New York. Unionville, New York is about a uh, little bit under 100 miles away from here. So five days, that'll be where I'm trying to get. And we'll see how everything goes. I'll get back to you guys in a little while. Oh, also another thing about this town, real quick. It's a lot of uh, Bel Airs in this town. I don't know if they was having a car show going on this weekend or what. But I seen a lot, a lot of classic vintage, man, cool 1950s inspired pea green painted Bel Airs, man. Oh, that's a classic piece of craftsmanship. Classic automotive. So. Hope y'all have a great day, man. It is Sunday, August the 6th. And you know what that means. As I said this morning, Game of Thrones tonight, baby. After you get done watching me, you better watch that because that's a that's a cliffhanger. We're going to see what Cersei do tonight and we're going to see what Jon Snow and Daenerys Stormborn, Targaryen, all that. See what goes on with that. You know. HBO got a Send me some promo dollars over here pretty soon, man. I keep promo on this show as good as I do. Cause I'm pretty sure they probably got some a few viewers off of the recommendation or logo. You dig what I'm saying? Tell them to holler at me. When you see somebody from HBO, tell them to holler at me. <laughs> as always, baby, love and light. It's a good shindig going over in the park. But I'm moving this way. Love and light, baby. Day 111. It's the Black Lashing. Peace.